Father Monton, my husband and I will not give to the parish anymore. Unless you remove this disgusting corpse from the vestibule of the church. And you do know that our financial contributions have been quite substantive. I understand you have come to accept the rumors some folks have been spreading about her ability to perform, shall we say, wondrous acts. Tell me, what preoccupies you, Father? Well, Father, she has a reputation of being a wretched liar and a thief. I would never steal bread from you, Madame. I, I promise. You are lying! I have seen you in the fields feeding my bread to the vagrant poor. I have told you many times I did not want you taking the household bread to feed those filthy children. You are a threat to this family. Clearly God has contempt you. Sad, despicable, monstrous creature. I gather you have already judged and condemned the child. Father, I have sinned. It's been one week since my last confession. Trust in the Lord's mercy. You are nothing but an ungrateful creature deserving of a beating. <laughs> my child, God recognizes our weakness. He, he's, he's aware of our wretchedness and powerlessness in the face of darkness. We shall see. I am cutting your portion of bread in half. Now we shall see how generous you are with my food. Remember, child, the Lord permits no evil that his power and his goodness could not avail to turn to the great advantage of his chosen children. Forgive her, my lord. Show mercy to her, for she knows not what she does. Discernment in these matters, father, is very, very important. Oh my, look at her. Surely she must be a saint. <laughs> 